There are people in Colorado choosing between groceries and paying for the meds they need to stay alive. Legislators have a new idea to take on Big Pharma. They insist that this plan is legal, but they know that it's going to draw a big fight. Here's Anusha Roy. Every month recently has been a struggle. One prescription that we have to pay in order to keep her alive. Matthew James said his family needs to get Zeralto a blood thinner for his wife. If she isn't on blood thinners, then she clots up in her lungs. With insurance, it costs around $258 a month. Then Matthew lost his job in the pandemic. It went up to 450 a month with a discount card. The generic drug doesn't suit his wife, so he says they need to get Zarelto. Decide what groceries we want to do or what other bills we have to pay. His story is shared by so many people in Colorado. The Colorado Consumer Health Initiative estimates one out of three people in the state are skipping doses, cutting pills, or not filling prescriptions because of the cost, which is why some state lawmakers have proposed setting up a prescription drug affordability review board. You know, we recognize that research and development costs are sometimes part of the equation, but also those are often research projects paid for by the NIH or, or universities. And if they're found to be unaffordable, this board will be able to set upper payment limits on the price of drugs. And how would the board have the authority to do that? So we've we've been looking at this and we feel pretty confident that the approach we're taking meets legal muster on this. We, you know, there, there are certain things that fall under interstate commerce. If this feels familiar, it's because lawmakers have tackled this issue before. Biggest efforts, though, that have fallen short have been cost transparency efforts. Pharmaceutical industry has opposed those transparency bills every year that I've been here. Democratic Representative Kennedy said many times those bills have stalled. And as confident as the lawmakers are about their legal grounds this year, they are also ready for a fight. Getting threatened with lawsuits by big corporate interests is nothing new at the legislature. Okay, so we looked up who has signed up to lobby against this proposed bill, and it is the who's who of the pharma world. We are talking about all of the big names, Kyle, already gearing up to try to stop this bill, and it was just introduced a couple of days ago. And I imagine they'll say, Anusha, if you cap the price of our drugs, we'll pull them out, people won't get them. Yeah, and that's definitely one of the concerns we were hearing about today, right? So if a manufacturer says, okay, you're messing with the payment here, we're just not going to sell it in Colorado, they have to give the state a heads up. But the board has to take accessibility into account, right? Because the last thing you want to do is create a situation where people can't get the meds they need. So not every drug that's reviewed is going to see that payment limit. And all of those factors, Kyle, are going to have to be taken into account. I did want to give a quick update about Matthew. He does have a new job but it doesn't come with insurance. So they're still in that same position where they're struggling every month with those payments. All right, we'll follow this closely. Thank you to Anusha and kudos to every viewer who spotted the old friend in the background.